Before World War II, climbers were climbing in all sorts of adapted gym shoes, socks, bare feet. But after World War II, the very creative great French climber Pierre Alain was actually able to mass produce his design for a rock climbing shoe. It was made by Edward Bourdonneau, and there were many copies of this kind of a shoe. But these were the first. Before Pierre Alain's shoe, people were climbing in very light, soft boots. This Kronhofer from Innsbruck was a very popular one. This was mine, I had it for uh, over 11 years. <laughs> the next kind of revolution in climbing shoes uh, was really presaged almost by the Russians. They were visiting at one point in the late 70s, and at that time they brought over a Russian handmade titanium ice screws, various things to trade for gear. <laughs> they didn't have money. But one of them, uh, who was a speed climber, what he had to trade was his galoshkis. This is just your regular rubber galoshes you'd put on over your dress shoes when it's sloppy outside. And I, we just looked at the poor guy and thought, oh my gosh, these poor Russians, all they can afford is this. And a few years later, everybody's climbing in slippers. <laughs>